Welcome to another video. Today is going to be how to complete the weekly escape the choke on Master's difficulty. So this is less so of a guide and more of a quick way to complete. As you can see, you can get a higher score or a quicker time by going different routes. But if you're purely interested in mastering it, getting the 5% skins and also getting the sort of medals for mastering a hive or mastering weekly hives, this is a really great one to do. The choke has been the most comfortable escape we've done on Masters, and I think that's reflected in score. Normally, completing it on Masters, you get basically a high score, uh, but on this one, it's kind of low, so it shows it's quite comfortable. The character I'm using is Cole, and he could be unlocked via the totem system, which is just XP, and the cards I'm using for the Cole train can all be gained at level 15. It's going to be Inner Fire, the card, uh, it's going to be all the glory. This one's leveled up to level 2, but it can be level 1. Uh, damage, dash. And these are all damage reduction cards. Torch, tackle. And the final card I'm going to be using is Thrash Bowl Pro. Again, all of these cards can be changed. Try your own styles, but this was just damage uh, mitigation. You can do different styles with Cole if you want. Mac uh, is who Stotty was playing as, I believe. And we're playing as Mac purely because he has that Boltock Bleed card, which allows you to deal with Bastions much more comfortably on, a, say, a default weapon. You don't need to pick anything up. You just get the Bleed by default as he spawns with a Boltock. And Joe, from the last video, is also playing as Emil. This time he has the Bleed card on. <clears throat> uh, which basically a uh, bleed card on your melee again you spawn with it so extra damage on spawn and the shield so the strategy here is you don't really need to pick any big weapons up you just sort of spawn with all of the stuff you need so as we head into the chunk uh the chunk the choke chunk as we head into the choke i'll leave that in there that's a little inside meme for anybody watching the, ch the twitch channel but as we head into the choke um we are, well, should I say we are, should I say, it's very simple. There is basically no strategy to this hive. Normally, if you watch my last video, we go step by step and go through, okay, this is what we did on Insane, this is what we did on Inconceivable, and then this is how we adjusted our strategy. Basically, we just jump, jumped borderline straight into Masters. All the other runs we did first time, and there's not much to it. Now here, don't be like me. If this hunter does run past you, just leave it. I tried to take my one, and knowing me, you know, I completely failed there with that run. So the reason I failed there, if you're interested, is the combo with Cole is you sprint, lunge at him, roll back, sprint, lunge. But I actually took cover, and then I didn't have enough speed, violence, and momentum to actually kill that hunter. And then I just did a default melee, which didn't connect, and Joe had to come back and rescue me. Kind of embarrassing, but you know, look at the power of him. It is Masters, the guy's almost taking 1v2, this guy's doing bits down bottom. Uh, so Joe comes to rescue me, God bless Joe. And we are off, the Venom's been triggered, and this is the strategy. So you can see Coltrane, as this is what happens, you run in, boom. Um, and for some reason, I am a bit confused by this, but this could just be a passive of Coltrane. To be honest, I haven't really looked. It seems to be if you kill a target, you get a bit of stim. Now this is basically the strategy on Masters. You push out, and once you press the draw bridge, you push out, and you kill as many stragglers as you can, such as this, the, the, the Juvies, the Grenadiers, and you kill as many people as you can, and you get as many weapons as you can until the Bastions appear. When the Bastions appear, you're going to get frozen, you're going to get pushed, and it's going to be a nightmare. So what you want to do is have one player, whichever card or you know character you've picked, go off to one side and draw the Bastions out. Now, again, there are different ways to do this hive. I'm sure you can take a long route up here, get all of the cog tags, kill more enemies, and take your time and end up with a quicker time because that's kind of how escapes work. But if you're just interested in the fastest way to complete the hive, this is it. So you drag them up here, and at this point, your job's done. The bridge takes, or should I say the lift, takes about a minute, I think, exactly to spawn. So you have to buy time for roughly about a minute. Now down there, Joe and Stoy are still killing things. So they've still got to stay alive, but there's two of them. And I kind of just run around and be a nuisance. And at this point, once I've brought the Bastion over, your job's done. Now I do manage to make it to this lever and pull it for extra Venom time. But honestly, it makes no difference. After completing this on Masters, we went back, I think, to do it three times for Joe's medal. And I didn't manage to make it to this lever, so it's by no means necessary to make it all this way. Yeah. 
just drag one or two of the bastions away from the initial bridge and that's kind of the whole strategy um there's nothing else to it apart from remember the combo with cole so you're sprinting and then lunging and then you are effectively rolling back sprinting and lunging again and when you can uh, possibly try and kill enemies effectively near other enemies then you get that explosion so you get 20% of their health dealt as I think fire damage exploding it's kind of reminds me of path of exile so the idea now that you're out of that first room and you've all regrouped you head down this slide and this is probably the only tricky bit now remember you get 40% damage reduction when my ultimate is available so I'm leaving my ultimate there ready but I'm not using it again your main objective is just to deal with the bastion as fast as you can uh, because that's just going to make things really, really painful. The elite grenadiers can be a bit tricky for Cole, so if any of your teammates can soften them up, um, you can then charge in and melee, because obviously when they're shielded, Cole is nigh on. Uh, he's, he's useless, basically. So your best bet, yeah, is to deal with the bastions, and then you can push straight on. Again, there are, there are pathways left and right, and I'm absolutely sure... You could kill more enemies, find a safe room, get some cog tags and get a much faster time. Um, but honestly, if you're just looking to complete our masters, you can just sprint through. Remember you need to be active in your Baltok, I think, and also hitting weak points for the bleed on Mac. And you can see here, this is on masters, but I'm running through kind of brave and just launching myself at people, doing half of the HP. And then, you know, that's the failed combo. That's kind of what you don't want to do. What you want to do is lunge, not over that wall, which is a little bit odd, but you, yeah, you just want to lunge, stun them, roll back, lunge again. Um, and Cole's a, a real good piece of fun, by the way. If you haven't unlocked him, it's 30,000 XP on the totem system. There's no crazy challenges anymore. It's just purely XP to unlock characters, which you can do through playing any mode. And again, this is your last bit of work as the Cole train. Once they've pressed that bridge, your job is to do a bit of a distraction again. Uh, the only thing I'd note is sometimes up top, uh, the two people holding can get a bit overrun. And remember, don't just blow your ult because that's giving you 40% damage reduction. Only use your ult when you, you know, if you really, really need to, you get in a bit of a sticky situation. In the last video, we spoke about these elite drones and they're really difficult to get by. But with Coltrane's sprint, is damage reduction, all of the tools available, you can just bypass that elite drone and i see stotty's in trouble as always you know losing his ones so i go out and help him and you can see there that the explosion from killing a single juvie chains onto the other ones and it makes it clearing and that's an example of the combo melee hit roll back uh so yeah that's basically how you do the combo which if you want to rewind it you just sprint in hit with the melee key and then roll back sprint hit uh, I took this claw out because this was... I was like, okay, maybe we need some ammo. But honestly, once the bridge is up, that's it. Sometimes, once the bridge is up, the mission isn't done. There's still a ton of enemies that p pile in there. But for this one, it just seems really simple. And the quick time isn't so much just completing it. As I explained before, normally if you complete a hive on Masters, you just get one of the best times. But on this one, you got only 5%... Uh, so the challenge is going to be completing it in a more thorough way and then escaping. But if you just want to do quick, easy Master's Escape, um, this one's not nice that you can just run through. Your coal only needs to be 15. And if you're wondering how to get them up to 15, put the Surge on basically full difficulty, minus lethal and minus extra scions. And you can just run through. If you go the left-hand way... Um, it's basically a two minute run for like two to three thousand XP, I believe. And you la you rank up characters really, really quickly. So there we go. Um, that was a little PvE video. I'm trying to do more PvE when possible and when I'm in the mood for it and when I'm enjoying it. As I know many, many people do like them. Please do remember, uh, you know, it's not a guide. I'm not a not an escape professional. I'm just giving you some ideas to help you out. So if you anybody else in the chat has got any better ideas or any tips feel free to post them below uh, always happy to read them and share them uh, i'll pin some good ones if anyone does any good feedback thanks for watching the videos 
Uh, as always, if you want to support, there are links in the description to the content goal, to the Twitch Primes if you want to become a Zicario. Take it easy.